Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's live recording right here on the Rachel Varga podcast. In today's episode, we are learning more about the Myers detox. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of regular detoxification to clear out toxins and things that are going to uh, potentially speed up your aging via the mechanism of inflammation. We want to have a clear body, mind, spirit, energy to give our bodies the best chance possible for slowing aging. So we're going to, going to be learning about the Myers detox and how it can help support our hair, skin, nails, and of course, slowing aging. I would love to tell you about Dr. Wendy Myers, our guest today. She's a naturopathic doctor and founder of MyersDetox.com. She's a heavy metal detox and bioenergetics expert, as well as the number one best-selling author of Limitless Energy, How to Detox Metals to End Exhaustion and Chronic Fatigue. Wendy is the host of a top 100 rated podcast, The Myers Detox Podcast, about protecting your health with detoxification. Welcome, 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 Dr. Wendy Myers. How are you today? I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you on the show. And for all of you tuning in, Dr. Wendy Myers and I were part of a wonderful health collaborative that we've both been part of for years. And we are what you would also consider disruptors in the industry, sharing information to help you be your greatest and most powerful, high vibe, radiant versions. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Wendy Myers, and what got you so interested in detoxification? Well, you know, I, when I was about 37 years old, I started having some health issues and, uh, you know, I'd really spent my, all my time on health. My, my hobby was health, reading about health, eating healthy food, shopping the farmer's market, everything organic. And, making all my own food and a huge bag of supplements and, you know, high quality expensive supplements and exercising and stress relief. It's just like every, I just did everything correct. And, and I reached a point after I had my daughter where it was about a year after having her and I just, I couldn't lose weight. I was angry frequently. I just wake up feeling gray and I had this amazing life living in Malibu. And, um, I just, um, I, I was just having like a lot of like, I just felt like I, I was having trouble sleeping. I was tired and I was working out six to eight hours a week, going to bed hungry. I just wasn't losing weight. And I just knew something was intuitively going on with my body. And so I went to my naturopathic doctor. I said, you know, figure out everything that's going on with me. I did like $4,000 of the test and I had low thyroid hormones. I had low sex hormones. I had, I was told I had the hormone levels of a menopausal woman you know, which I was thrilled to hear about. <laughs> and I had uh, uh, lots of other stuff going on, you know, adrenal fatigue, so low stress hormones. So all my hormones were low. And of course, they wanted to put me on this hormone replacement therapy for everything. And I just thought, you know, not really how I envisioned my life uh, at 37 to be on hormone replacement therapy and putting testosterone cream on my vagina and all these things that they were like suggesting that I do. And, and taking thyroid hormone medication for life was uh, the recommendation. And so I just thought something had to have happened with my hormones to get into this place. And so I decided to go on Dr. Google and I happened upon how heavy metals can interfere in your hormones and in your thyroid and in your stress hormones. And, and I just had read about mercury and lead and, and other toxins, but I didn't really think they applied to me because I was so healthy, right? And so I did some heavy metals testing and I had a lot of metals. I was really, really surprised. I had mercury, I had lead, I had cadmium, I had arsenic, I had uranium, and I had a cesium. And I was like, where, where did I get this stuff? And, and I find, I've, I mean, I've done thousands and thousands of heavy metals tests and, and everyone has metals. I mean, it's just impossible to avoid. And they're aging you. 
Uh, these metals cause a lot of oxidative stress and they're aging you at a very rapid rate. So I started a detox program and I just, for me, a, a huge light bulb went off uh, is this is a big underlying root cause of people's health issues. And I researched this for over a decade. I've published everything that I've learned on MyersDetox.com. But one thing is clear, these metals affect your energy production, your digestion, uh, your gut microbiome, your brain functioning, uh, and they age you uh, on top of that. Yes, I had my first detoxification, like proper detoxification. And it actually took me all the way, I would say from March last year, all the way to December. However, I started to notice the mental clarity, my edges in my hairline started coming back, acne was reducing, my nails were really, really strong, and, and they still are. And you're absolutely right. The heavy metal toxic burden is something that we're seeing more and more of simply based on things that are in our environments. So we're both biohackers. We both understand that it's important to modulate our environment to support our biology. I would love to get into it with you here, Dr. Wendy Myers, as what are your thoughts on why people are aging at an accelerated rate today? Yes. Well, the name of the game with looking young and healthy is energy. Okay. And so, like I mentioned before, heavy metals are aging us. Um, what, that, what do they do in the body? They, you ingest them through your air, food, and water. Uh, mainly the, our food is a big um, you know, uh, concern. And our beauty products as well. Our beauty products have a lot of chemicals and metals in them and our makeup, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but these metals get in our body and chemicals and they cause oxidative stress. They use up all of our antioxidants while well, your body is trying to attach to them and take them out of the body. And so we make a lot of endogenous toxins also, you know, our gut bacteria and other processes in our body produce a lot of, you know, toxins that are just made inside of us. And so then we don't have the antioxidants we need to detox that, so to speak, or to process it, break it down and have it exit the body. And if we, we don't have enough antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C, glutathione, and other antioxidants found in superfoods and fruits and vegetables and things like that, um, we are going to age. It's these, these toxins are going to cause, uh, create free radicals, damage our cell membranes, damage our DNA, uh, do other type of, of damage and, um, and interfere in our organ functioning. They also interfere in mitochondrial energy production. So there's heavy metals like, or toxic metals like arsenic, aluminum, tin, thallium, cesium, lead, mercury. Most people have uh, all of these in their body uh, and pretty, you know, uh, decent amounts as well. And these metals will poison enzymes that transport nutrients into our mitochondria. So our ability to produce energy is compromised. It's, it's poisoned. And, uh, and so that's why a lot of people, they don't have the energy they need to regenerate their body at night, to detox their brain and their body at night, to, uh, to sleep. Energy as a restorative, regenerative process, it takes energy. So many times when you don't have enough energy, you can't get a good night's sleep. And it, that's why a lot of people sleep and they're not, they wake up feeling like they were hit by a truck. Like they just, because they don't have enough energy to restore their body and detox their brain and their body, et cetera. And so it just kind of becomes this vicious cycle where the less energy you have, the less ability you have to detox, less, you know, antioxidants you have, these toxins start building up in your body, aging you more and more and more and more. So you need to heed those warning signs fatigue, um, waking up, not feeling rested, not being able to get a restorative night's sleep, not being able to lose weight, maybe even your skin not looking so good, having bags under your eyes. Um, I'll get into some things in a minute, but if your skin is looking kind of, you know, dull or you get a lot of breakouts or you get a lot of rashes and things like that, it's a sign that your, your body's overwhelmed with toxins and your, that has to come out through your skin. If your liver is overloaded and can't process a lot of these toxins, it's got to come out through somewhere. So your skin is your largest detox organ in your body. So if you're overrun with toxins, it's going to show on your skin. 
Yes, absolutely. And sometimes when people t maybe tune into the show, they're like, oh, you know, there's this skin stuff, looking after my skin is a superficial and all these things. And you, you hit it, the nail on the head. The skin is the largest detox organ of the body. And we need to make sure that what we're putting on the skin isn't toxic. So ensuring you're using products free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, and fragrances, checking what those fragrances are, are absolutely, absolutely key. And I really like that you, when you were talking about your story, Dr. Wendy Myers, you just knew your, the body always knows when something's up. However, sometimes it also comes to having it brought to your awareness. And when you mentioned toxicity and skin rashes, I recently had published in the Journal of Aesthetic Nursing. You can find my research at rachelvarga.ca slash research. That's an open source, so anyone can read it. And the way I'm sort of disrupting the, the plastic surgery and aesthetic and cosmetic dermatology world, Dr. Wendy Myers, is bringing more attention to practitioners of this toxic bucket theory. If this toxic bucket gets too full, what happens? It tips over. You get skin disturbances. You get fatigue, all these things. So I'm so happy for the work that you're doing with helping people detox. It's so, so important. All right. I would love to ask you my next question. What role does hormone imbalance play in aging? And what heavy metals reduce production and promote imbalances of our stress, thyroid, and sex hormones? Yes. So I had mentioned before that all my hormones were low and that I had the hormone levels of a menopausal woman. Well, you know, heavy metals and environmental toxins play a role in throwing our hormones off of balance. And so if we have low estrogen production, you know, our skin is going to be more saggy, our hair can even fall out. Um, you know, we're just not going to have that, you know, robust amount of collagen production in our skin. So it's really important that we have, you know, maximize our body's ability to produce hormones. And so a lot of that resides in removing the roadblocks to proper hormone production. So I'll start with the sex hormones like estrogen and, and testosterone and progesterone. So heavy metals and, and there's different metals that act like estrogens in our body. And there's different pesticides and plasticizers and BPA. And there's like a whole laundry list of different uh, pesticides and plastics, uh, but these act like estrogens in our body. They, they actually have the same chemical structure as estrogens in our body, and they can lock onto the hormone receptors in our cell membranes and make our, and fool our body into thinking that we have plenty of estrogen and we don't have to make enough. And so these uh, toxins that are called xenoestrogens, they're weaker than our own endogenous production of estrogen. So we just don't, we don't get the same like benefit like we would with our stronger kind of real estrogen that we can produce. So where are we getting this stuff? Like you said, it's in the, you know, the parabens, the phthalates, the, um, it's in um, like all, all the different uh, perfumes and fragrances and things like that. These petroleum based uh, products that are very, very estrogenic. And then we also get them in pesticides. Pesticides um, also will mimic estrogens in our body as well. And so there's plastics, all the plastic that you're cooking your food in or storing your food in, or your organic food comes in plastic, or your organic beauty moisturizer comes in a plastic bottle, or, you know, there's just a lot of water bottles. There's just a lot of different ways that it's really impossible to live without plastics, but you just have to work on detoxing your body because you can't live in a bubble. And no matter what you do to control your environment, you still are going to be exposed to estrogenic uh, chemicals in the air, food, and water, and, and beauty products, regardless. Um, we can't, you know, it's very difficult to live without plastic in our world. And even if you do, you're still getting microplastics, and it's just, it's just everywhere if you really start thinking about it. You know, when you first start learning about detox, you just start like, oh. You just, you kind of going through every room in your house. You're like, oh my God, there's so much work that I have to do here. Um, but, uh, you know, you really, you, you can't live in a bubble. You have to just, you know, get on a sensible detoxification plan, which we'll talk more about in a minute. But when it comes to your thyroid hormones, you know, there's a reason that 20 million people plus are on thyroid hormone medication. And one of the main issues is mercury. 
I mean, everyone has mercury. I mean, it's just impossible. If you eat fish, if you, uh, you know, there's mercury in 400 different medications. Uh, there's just uh, in a lot of different places. So it's, it's in the air we breathe from coal burning and, and whatnot. Um, so mercury can deposit into our thyroid, into our pituitary gland, who's our master hormone, you know, conductor. And um, mercury will block production of thyroid hormones in many different ways, conversion of thyroid hormones, conversion of sex hormones as well. And uh, then BPA is another one, a big, uh, it plays a big role in interfering in thyroid hormone production. So, and so that's why a lot of us, uh, even if you're not on thyroid horm hormone medication, a lot of people have undiagnosed uh, thyroid issues, whether it's Hashimoto's autoimmune or Graves, or they have uh, just low thyroid functioning. And that's just, you know, your doctor doesn't consider it low enough to really do anything about it or even mention it to you. Um, so I think there's a lot of people out there, that, especially if they're having weight issues that typically can have thyroid health issues. But the answer isn't always going on thyroid medication. It certainly can be until you can get the, the issue under control. But detoxing your body, removing these roadblocks to hormone production, hormone conversion, um, goes a long way to restoring your body's ability to produce hormones naturally on their own. Yes. And one of the things that uh, I would love to just challenge each and every one of you listening to do is take inventory of how you start your day. And in particular, how you maybe make your morning tea or coffee, switch from a plastic kettle to a glass only kettle and go for a French press with your pesticide mold free coffee instead of using a coffee maker because when the water is heated, it's going through all these little parts of plastic. That's why I've never been a huge fan of these coffee pods or say we're in a hotel and they have the little tiny coffee makers. I do not drink that stuff because that stuff is full of toxins. So yes, having an awareness of our air, water, lighting, and electromagnetics and performing regular detoxification is key, especially what you said with weight loss resistance. This is really, really a key part as we age, as we get more mature. Sometimes it's a little harder to lose a little bit of that extra weight. So I would love to hear from you now, Dr. Wendy Myers. What are obesogens and how do they interfere in hormone production and cause problems when one is trying to lose weight? Yeah, I'm really passionate about this because one of my main concerns when I that you know led me to my doctor's office was uh, trouble losing weight. And so it's it's really a huge problem when only about 7% of people have normal metabolic functioning when we see two thirds of the population is uh, obese or morbidly obese in the United States alone. And so this is a huge problem. It's why I'm doing a, a new docu-series called Heavy, and it's all about obesogens and why uh, toxins are one of the number one reasons people can't lose weight, they develop diabetes, they have uh, other health issues that uh, poison their metabolism, essentially. And it's not just, it's not their fault. It's not the food they're eating. It's not the amount of exercise they're doing, and people just blame themselves and feel bad about themselves. Um, and so... What obesogenic chemicals do and other toxins is they um, essentially can make your stem cells produce more fat cells. Like they, they turn normal cells into fat cells or they cause your existing fat cells to be exponentially larger than they normally would be. And they also can be um, estrogenic. Uh, they can also, you know, like I mentioned before, uh, cause you to have uh, hormone issues, hormone imbalances, not produce produce enough hormones that you need to be producing, uh, throw a wrench in your thyroid as well, which sets your metabolism. Um, and uh, other, other chemicals can also, you know, destroy your gut microbiome. And so if you don't have healthy amounts of good bacteria, you're going to have trouble with your weight. You're going to have an overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria, which puts a huge strain on your liver which metabolizes your hormones. Um, your liver also helps to detox your body. And if it's overwhelmed because it's dealing with all your gut bacteria and all the toxins that they're producing, it's not going to be able to detox you. And so what ends up happening is when uh, a lot of people have gut dysbiosis and uh, toxins built up on their body. And so where does your body have to store this stuff if it can't deal with it, if it can't detox it, break it down and metabolize it? metabolize it right now. It stores it in your fat. 
and it stores it in your bones as well. Um, but mainly it'll store in your fat and your body will not let this stuff go. Your body will not uh, let you lose that last 30 or, or 10 or five pounds because it needs this garbage can essentially. And, and also to protect it, you know, protect your vital organs as well. So the, the fat cells are a very safe storage receptacle for these toxins. So that's why I am a big proponent of detoxification, uh, using different methods to detox your body. If you're trying to lose weight, you have weight loss resistance, you're doing everything under the sun and the scale just isn't budging or what you're doing today, you'd have to be, you'd, pretty much be an Olympic athlete. If you did all this stuff when you were like in your twenties, if today you're doing these things and you know that you would look unbelievable in your twenties, there's something going on, uh, with your metabolism. And the, the, the number one underlying root culprit is, uh, different toxins, heavy metals and environmental toxins. And the research shows this, it's clear. Mm -hmm. That's a really low percentage of people that are within the ideal ranges of metabolic function. What I would encourage everyone to strive for is to also become metabolically flexible so that you can become more resistant to stress. And yes, I'm sipping on some glyphosate-free superfood juice powders. If you've been a longtime listener, you know exactly what I'm drinking here. And this is really important. And you talked about fat cells. So there are some devices and rejuvenation options available for body sculpting. And they'll either use hot or cold to trigger fat cell death or apoptosis. This doesn't typically happen on its own. You kind of need a little bit of a stressor. So when we gain weight, the fat cells get larger. When we lose weight, they get smaller. And if we have a lot of these obesogens, like you said, then you get the proliferation of fat cells. And one of the best things that I ever did to transform my body and shed extra weight that just was not going anywhere was actually a long fast in nature. And that was about a five to seven day long fast. And that completely reset my body. And so I just encourage you to try and do a little bit of a, a longer fast, get your body into uh, autophagy to clear out all those senescent cells that are really gunging up your cellular machinery. And I mean, you're still going to be eating some foods and, and things. It's not just like a straight water fast. That would be way too difficult <laughs> for me to do. Uh, so that's just something that's helped me that I wanted to share. I would love to hear from you, Dr. Wendy Myers. How can you best assess toxicity levels and what testing do you like to recommend? Yes. Well, one of the easiest, most inexpensive ways is with a hair mineral analysis. And this is something that I've used with, like I said, with thousands of people, it's very easy to do. You can just send in your, a little bit of hair, uh, to us. And then we send it to a lab to analyze it. And, uh, and it comes back with, you know, dozens of heavy metals and lots of minerals as well, your mineral levels, which is a key is to, you know, getting insight into some heavy metal levels. Like if you have really high zinc, that's a sign you actually have cadmium toxicity, uh, which is a very, very toxic heavy metal. And, um, and it's, like I said, it's just very easy to do at home and it's really inexpensive as well. And it's a great way to kind of give you some insight into what heavy metals that you have, because you know, there's different things you can do like you could, on your own. Like if you haven't done any testing, you can do detox stuff. You can take binders and different detox supplements and things like that. But you, you, it's really good to get a baseline of where you are, what heavy metals and toxins that you have in your body and what mineral deficiencies you have, um, because taking minerals helps to detox your body. So we want to keep an eye on that and what you need to replenish. And so it, it makes sense to kind of test, don't guess, because different heavy metals have different nutrients that are needed to remove them or different minerals that will push them out. So it's good to know what to focus your supplementation on rather than spending a lot of time and, you know, kind of spinning your wheels, which many people can do for years. And especially if you're someone that um, has tried detoxes before, or you feel like you are, you have complex chronic illness or chronic fatigue, you're someone that needs to test and work with an experienced practitioner. 
Um, so you, you don't want to be doing stuff on your own and, you know, you, you need someone to help you kind of navigate um, any pitfalls you might come across uh, when you're attempting to do detoxing. Uh, and sometimes there's groundwork we need to do before you're ready to detox. But doing hair metal anal analysis is great. We also do urine and stool metals testing because different metals come out in different routes in the body. So there's no perfect heavy metals test. Uh, you certainly don't want to do blood that's the typical test you do at your doctors. That that's almost always going to come back negative. Lead is good for blood. You know, if you want to do a lead test at your doctor, that's fine to do typically. But you know, your body doesn't allow allow heavy metals to just float around in your blood. It just doesn't. So it's not the best way to test. Hair can give you a three month snapshot of what your body is excreting. So it just uh, gives you a lot more information about what you have than like a little tiny snapshot of your your blood. Um, but like I said, to get a full picture hair, urine, and stool is the best way to go. Wonderful. Well, I look forward to doing one of your test kits also. I recently did another heavy metal test. I haven't gone over the results of that yet. However, what I like to do when I'm first looking at different test kits is to actually do a few of them and then compare the results and see if they picked up on similar things. So I look forward to reporting back to all of you how my heavy metal test goes with Dr. Wendy Myers, and we'll talk about how you can work with her just shortly here. I have a question for you. Are there different places in the world where the population is more prone to heavy metal toxicity? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, say, let's say in the United States, in the Southern United States, there are people have a lot of manganese toxicity, especially if they are, um, you know, drinking well water. Uh, people in the Southwest United States have uranium in California as well because there's uranium in the water. So you're getting it in your shower water. That can cause uh, blood sugar issues and diabetes. Um, there's places like uh, Bangladesh um, and other places that have arsenic in the water. A lot of places in India, huge issue with arsenic contamination in Bangladesh. It's a huge uh, issue there. Um, there's other places... Uh, um, uh, if people, especially if they're drinking well water, um, that can typically could have uh, contamination that people aren't always aware of because um, sometimes the testing doesn't test for everything. Um, yeah, and so there's just, uh, there are different uh, countries have different issues. Like in, for instance, in uh, Japan, there's a huge issue with cesium toxicity because of the, the Fukushima nuclear disaster there. In uh, 1986 in Europe, they had their Chernobyl uh, disaster. So there are a lot of clients there have a uh, cesium toxicity that's still in their body from when they were kids when that, that disaster happened. Um, and so depending on where you are, depending on the, the toxicity levels, uh, from different disasters there, um, yeah, every, every place has its issue, uh, for sure. Every different, um, uh, people like in New Jersey, New Jersey is actually very, very, very toxic. There's a lot of landfills there and, uh, Long Island as well. Very, very toxic. A lot of dumping and things like that have happened. Um, so depending on where you are, every place has its own uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've, I've come across that as well in skin research with uh, countries in the Orient having much higher rates of skin inflammation due to air pollution and yeah. the air particles resting on the skin and contributing to things like skin redness, sensitive skin, and breakouts and pigmentation. Yeah, yeah. Places like China, you know, they'll have a, they don't have the kind of filters on the the industrial and the smokestacks, so they get, you get all that, you know, coal burning and and like I mean, some places like Beijing, like you can't even see across the street. I mean, the pollution, the air pollution is so bad, and so uh, people get you know lung diseases and and skin issues too from that. Mm -hmm. It's been getting really bad on the West Coast of North America with the uptick with forest fires. I remember growing up and, you know, living on a small island, Vancouver Island, we never had forest fires like this. And then the last five years straight, remember last year, there were about 10 days of just terrible air pollution, even worse than China, <laughs> as per the air quality index uh, so that I was you know, really starting to talk about on the show, the importance of air purification in the home so that, yes, we can be in the world and then we can create a safer, more detox conducive environment in our home. We're sleeping and, and we're, we're having much better air quality. I would love to pick your brain, Dr. Wendy Myers, 
on some simple detox tips for our listeners to begin balancing hormones and increasing hormone production. Yes. So, you know, like I said, you want to give your body the nutrients to detox. And so one of the best things you can do, I drink a juice daily. I drink a green juice daily. Like I switch it around different things. Sometimes I do beet juice, like beet, apple, lemon, or, or I'll do different greens and things like that. But really important to flood your body with minerals to help you detox. And then, uh, and let, like I said, lemon be really good for your liver. And um, then the top five foods for detoxification are broccoli sprouts. So I, I grow those and I put them in tacos. I put them in salads. I put them in burritos. I put them, you know, just in uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. And you can juice them as well. And then you also can do egg yolks or means you need choline to detox. Uh, egg yolks have a lot of choline. And then you can also do um, uh, onions, garlic, and ginger. So I put a lot of ginger, used uh, juiced ginger as well, and put that in a lot of stir fries and just use it as much as I can in cooking. And so you want to focus on those five foods. And also cruciferous vegetables are amazing as well, Brussels sprouts and, and broccoli and things of that nature. Um, and then you also uh, focus on minerals with your supplementation. A lot of people read different articles about different, you know, antioxidants and this, and they're great, but your body doesn't work without minerals period. Uh, minerals are needed in all these different enzymatic processes. So you need magnesium, you need zinc, you need selenium to make thyroid hormones. Everyone's deficient in selenium. I see very few people that don't make enough, that don't have adequate levels of, or have adequate levels of selenium. Um, people need potassium. They need trace minerals. So um, I love quinton minerals. They, those are amazing. They're liquid minerals um, that you, you can drink every single day. You can put it in your water. Um, I love Mother Earth liquid minerals. Those are uh, developed by Linus Pauling, um, who was a Nobel Prize uh, winner. And um, yeah, there's just... Uh, not enough focus put on, on minerals. And you know, most people are magnesium deficient. And so I can go on and on about that. And so minerals will help to push out and displace heavy metals out of your body. They can occupy the same enzyme binding sites. Iron toxicity is also another one that I forgot to mention. Most people have way too much iron in their body. And you, you simply get rid of that by giving blood every three months. Um, women that are menstruating don't have to do that. But women that are menopausal and men you're going to be doing yourself a huge favor in extending your life, um, in slowing down aging by getting rid of the excess iron in your body. And really the only way to do that is doing, giving blood and just, uh, you know, getting rid of it, uh, every three months. Um, and so some other detox tips I love are ionic foot baths. Um, these, you know, they're, they're not cheap, but they're one of the best ways to detox your body. I love the ion cleanse. It's a medical grade. It works really well. Most people need to do 400 hours on average. So, you know, you can do, you know, one bath to four foot baths a day and you, you, you start losing weight when you believe me, when you start doing that, I've had so many people that start doing it and lose 15 pounds in a few weeks. Uh, of starting to do that because they're just, they're pulling all the garbage out of their body, but you need to replete minerals when you're doing that. And you need to take binders uh, when you're doing ionic foot baths. Um, infrared saunas, amazing. I love those. Uh, sweat therapy, you know, there's so many different uh, cultures that use sauna therapy and they're, they're, they're happier and healthier and live longer. They're doing that. You know, the research is clear. If you do uh, five saunas a week, people have a 40% reduction in mortality from all causes. I mean, that is just, it's huge. Um, so sauna therapy or just any kind of like sweat therapy, really, really important. But with an infrared sauna, you're penetrating deeper. You're getting a lot more benefits, a lot more toxins in your sweat. Um, so a lot of great saunas out there, just get in one and start doing it. But some people, they don't, they don't tolerate heat or they're really ill or they're elderly or children below the age of seven can't do saunas the ionic foot bath is the way to go for them. Beautiful. I had been a long time a blood donor. Everyone wants my blood. And then I was chatting with my TCM and saying, you know what? I'm thinking about wanting to have kids in the next couple of years. What's your suggestions there? He's like, well, maybe you should just focus on 
supporting your spleen and all of that instead. So I did make that switch. But yes, prior to I was doing that regularly. I love that you brought up ionic foot soaks and ionic foot baths the first time I did one, which was a few months ago. It was the first time I ever did it. I was like, oh my gosh, look at what is coming out. It's like this like sludge. And I did look at the results of what my foot bath meant. It wasn't that bad with the amount of toxins I had come out, which was good. Because just prior to that, I had actually cut out seafood for about a month and a half with another um, heavy metal test that I was preparing for also. So that was good to see. Uh, however, yes, regular ionic foot soaks, love that. I also love to do detox baths. So that's a mixture of borax, Epsom salts, baking soda, adding some fabulous pineapple body oil that you can find on my e-store or avocado oil works great too. And that's a really old school radiation detox that dates all the way back to the 70s and 80s of what they would have uh, individuals who were working at nuclear power plants do to regularly detox, which is hilarious. And then we could even go a step further for detox and getting rid of uh, even different viruses and parasites with frequency devices. And I absolutely, I know you're a big fan of bioenergetics, and I'm really excited towards what the future has to offer. And we see our European counterparts being much more into the space of more, using more energy type of devices to recalibrate and kind of tune the body if you will. It, it isn't quite as widely accepted yet in North America. I am hoping it will be. Um, what's your insights into some of the frequency devices out there that can help to support the body? Yeah, well, you know, I love uh, this one company called Ness Health, N-E-S Health. And so this is a company that has a scan that you can do. You can either do a skin scan or your a voice scan. And it tests over 800 different data points. And so it gives you a lot of information about, you know, where do you have energetic blocks, what food sensitivities you have, what heavy metals and chemicals that you have, um, and just where you have energetic blocks on your meridians, on specific organs, uh, emotional traumas that you have, um, just a lot of information about your body. And then it has uh, different protocols, energetic protocols to, uh, to address that, the issues and remove the energetic blocks and restore communication and, and energy. And, you know, the, the, the emphaceuticals, which are the energetic remedies actually feed energy to your body. And they also have a device called a my health. I don't have one right here with me, but I actually, the other day, they they have a setting for skin and I was doing the device on my skin to help uh, send corrective information to my skin to help improve the skin uh, function and texture and, and whatnot and the thickness and things like that. And they actually sell them to estheticians as well. Um, but this, this, uh, my health is like a, a, a doctor in your pocket. It has over 200 different functions and it just sends corrective operating instructions to your body on energy ways. And one way I use it is with, there's a sleep setting. And so it actually changes your brain waves. So the brain waves you're supposed to have when you're sleeping. And when I, sometimes I forget to do it, but when I'm, uh, you know, having trouble sleeping or tr trouble going to sleep or my brain is just kind of awake, um, I'll put it on there. And I, I fall asleep within like 10 minutes and I sleep much, much deeper than I normally do. And it's just uncanny uh, how, uh, you know, without fail, that's what happens. And I don't know why I don't do it every single night. <laughs> But when I do do it, I notice a huge, huge difference. Um, but there's just uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of programs um, on this device. And there's another one I use called a Spooky 2. It's a Rife device. It was developed by Royal Rife, the original frequencies about 100 years ago. Um, Spooky 2 was developed by a guy named John White. And this is, I will just scan my body. It will test uh, parasites for viruses, for bacteria, whatever's going on with you. Um, I live in Mexico. So sometimes you get, you know, intestinal bugs, you know, more often than you do other places. And so without fail, you know, I do a scan of my body and it, it, it you know, it kind of scans you with the frequencies, the, the cooties that are screaming the loudest in your body. <laughs> and then it will, it will send a frequency that will only kill those, those bugs. 
So it just, there's a frequency and it causes the membranes to just, just to explode. So you're only targeting that infection or that parasite. And it can get stuff that you can't get other ways like liver flukes or brain prions or um, things that, you know, conventional medicine just doesn't have treatments for, or, or it's just, um, it's kind of like the shotgun approach, like antibiotics will just kill, you know, you take Cipro, you're killing half your gut bacteria in one go. Um, with, with this device, you, you kill only the, the pathogenic bacteria and nothing else is touched. So it's really much more advanced. It all, usually only takes two or three treatments to, or sessions to address uh, an infection. And so for me, it's just how I keep me and my, my family healthy. And it's just with the Nest Health, that kind of helps to the differences between those two is the Nest Health helps your, your body, helps restore your body to correct energetic functioning. So you have, um, it just restores communication. You kind of restore your body to a perfectly energetically functioning body. And that can improve your immunity and, and energy production and so many other things, your digestion, your absorption of nutrients. But with the, the spooky, you can target active infections. Yes, everything, every pathogen has a specific frequency, its own energy signature. So I love this concept. I, I just did some zapping on myself just the other day. Uh, as well while I was getting ready and doing my hair and makeup. So it's not like you have to like sit down and waste an hour. You can literally get hooked up with some of the stuff and carry on business as usual. Oh, yeah. I'm so, so excited to see where, where this goes. Um, right now, it's almost like to know about this stuff, it doesn't matter how much money you have, it's the access to it with the stuff that is just the most cutting edge. So being able to work with individuals like Dr. Wendy Myers and myself, we know about this stuff because we are very well connected in our, our health communities. And of course, what we talk about here on the show is not medical advice, it's educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. So Dr. Wendy Myers, where can people learn more about you? Yes. Well, you can find me on MyersDetox.com. And I also have the Myers Detox podcast. We have uh, almost 450 episodes now, which I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> but uh, there are lots of free information on uh, detox and other, other topics related to health, emotional detox as well. And um, yeah, I have lots, lots of free information. I have hundreds of articles on MyersDetox.com to help you, you know, upgrade your life and help you to detox. Wonderful. And you also have a supplement called Ageless AF and you're graciously offering listeners here use promo code Rachel10 for 10% off of Ageless AF and uh, that you can find at Myers Detox. Tell us a little bit about this and how people can work with you. Yeah, I actually forgot to mention it. But yeah, when you if you want to detox metals that cause fatigue, uh, and also you want to get better hair, skin and nails and stronger bones. Um, I formulated this product called Ageless AF and it essentially has um, a specific form of silica in it. And it's not like oh, like horsetail or bamboo silica because those don't really detox your body as well as this specific form of silica. It's called orthosilicic acid. It has a really good binding capacity for metals that cause fatigue, arsenic, aluminum, tin, thallium, and cesium. And so and these are metals that most people have in their body. Uh, everyone has aluminum in their body. A lot of people have thallium because it's in the air from coal burning. Um, they, people have cesium from just uh, nuclear disasters and testing like Fukushima and things like that. Um, so you can bind onto these metals and remove them, restore energy function. But this form of silica also gives you really strong hair, skin, and nails. Like I'm 50 years old and I feel like because I'm taking silica and I'm taking collagen, I'm doing detox, it's really going to help me stay really young and youthful and get rid of all these uh, you know, toxins that are causing free radical damage in, in your body and your cells and restoring your energy. And so there's just a, a lot of benefits to detoxification beyond just, you know, uh, having a healthy body. You're going to, you're, you know, how healthy you are on the inside is going to radiate through your skin and how you look on the out, outside as well. Absolutely. We cannot out skincare, out rejuvenate or out biohack, uh, poor lifestyle 
and toxicity. So these are really things that you've all heard me talk about so many times here on the show, the importance of regular detoxification, not just a one and done, but ongoing for not only yourself, your whole family as well. We tend to deworm our pets. However, we forget to deworm ourselves. So thank you very much, Dr. Wendy Myers, for joining us here on the show. And again, use promo code RACHEL10 for 10% off of Ageless AF. And working with Dr. Wendy Myers, learn more at MyersDetox.com. And the links are in the show notes of this episode. Thanks for joining me here on the show, Dr. Wendy Myers. And I look forward to meeting you in person, actually, at our next Health Collaborative Networking event as well. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Have a beautiful, high vibe, radiant day, everyone. And to learn more about how I can support you on your skin and rejuvenation journey, use promo code podcast 15 as a thanks for tuning in here for 15% off of a one on one session with me over at Rachel Varga dossier and shop easy my skincare and personal care products that are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes and fragrances, and that have met my pre vetted list. And I've worked use these products with thousands of with thousands of clients since 2011 over at rachelvarga.ca we'll see you again right here on the rachel varga podcast